Today we're going to talk a little bit about braking systems. Uh, the braking systems on these carts are uh, hydraulically operated. Uh, they have um, either two or four pistons in them. They have small brake pads. Uh, th this is actually a pretty large pad. Uh, they come in all different sizes and uh, manufacturers of brake pads. They also come in different compounds and uh, different compounds are usually shown as different colors on the backside. Um, it just gives you different degrees of braking. Um, some of the better brakes are uh, self-returning and self-adjusting brakes. Um, some of the other brakes have springs in them that make them return and you have to shim them. Uh, the, the braking systems on smaller carts have smaller pads. Uh, the braking systems on the front carts have smaller pads. And then the braking systems on the, on the rear usually have a, a bigger pad and a bigger, heavier braking system. Uh, this particular brake here has, two, has four pistons in the, master, or in the, in the um, brake caliper. Uh, this one here has two. And on this cart, it also has two. It has the little retainer springs inside that go through and return the pads from this one. Uh, Generally your brake pads wear and when they get down to where there's not much left and you only have metal, then you have to replace the brake pads. Um, depending on how many brakes you have on your cart is, is, has a lot to do with how long they last and what kind of track you're on. Um, you know, some of the brake pads, I, I had one customer that ran very competitively all year and he used no brake pads all year long. Um, he ran eight races and won a championship doing that. Uh, I have other competitors that, uh, like at our track where the track is real short, a lot of stopping, who go through brake pads every other week. Um, a lot of it depends on driving styles also.